Hello everyone, I'm Eat This Mom. Pork has been too expensive lately. So I've temporarily given it up. Let's take a look at chicken instead. It's tender, nutritious, and reasonably priced. Today, I'll share a delicious dish with you using chicken. No frying, no braising, no deep frying. Once it's ready, it will make your neighbors drool. First, add a bit of flour to the chicken. Knead it like this with your hands for a few minutes. Until it feels a bit sticky like this, then it's good. Rinse it clean under running water. This step is mainly to remove the blood. And it's very effective. You can give it a try. Now take a look. There's basically no more blood. It's very cleanly washed. Then we'll prepare some of this. You can use baking soda. Directly add it into the chicken. About a spoonful. Keep mixing for around one minute. Because the protein in chicken is slightly acidic, Adding baking soda can help balance it. This allows the coarse chicken fibers to fully expand, absorb water, and become tender. Improving the texture, it will taste very delicious. Now rinse it once more under running water. Now drain the excess water. Then transfer it to a large bowl for later use. Now prepare some green onion and ginger. Slice them thinly, then into fine strips. Finally, chop the ginger into mince. Put them into a bowl for later use. Peel a few cloves of garlic and chop them into garlic mince. Put them all together in the bowl. Then add some hot oil to bring out the fragrance. Stir it well. Then add two spoons of light soy sauce. Two spoons of dark soy sauce. One spoon of oyster sauce. One spoon of cooking wine to remove the smell and about a spoon of salt. One spoon of pepper to taste. Mix it all evenly. Lastly, add two pieces of braised tofu. Mix it well. Adding braised tofu enhances the texture of the meat. It's very delicious. Now pour it directly over the chicken. Put on gloves and massage it for around one minute. Then set it aside to marinate. Now prepare some mushrooms as 
Side dishes. Use scissors to cut off the mushroom stems. Everyone knows the environment where mushrooms grow. And its growth structure is relatively complex. So when washing it, just simply using clean water is not enough to clean the mushrooms properly. It would be like eating insect eggs. Before washing, we add a little flour. Then soak it for a few minutes. And then wash it. This way, it can be easily cleaned thoroughly. Because flour has a strong adsorption ability. It can absorb all the insect eggs and residues. Take a look, everyone. There are so many impurities. Now let's change the water and wash it again. After rinsing, take another look, everyone. Now it's very clean. Drain the water and put it on the cutting board. We use a knife to cut across on the mushroom surface. This makes it easier for the mushrooms to absorb flavors. Secondly, it enhances the appearance. It will look very beautiful. This is good enough. Cut all the mushrooms and set them aside on a plate. Boil water in a pot beforehand. Once it starts to boil, add a spoonful of oil and a spoonful of salt. Then put the mushrooms in to enhance the base flavor. Blanch them for about one minute. Now drain the water. Put them in cold water to cool quickly. Then squeeze out some of the water. And set them aside on a plate. Now add the marinated chicken. Ready for tasting. Place them in the steamer with cold water. After the water boils, steam on high heat for 30 minutes. During this time, let's prepare some cilantro and cut it into sections. If you don't like cilantro, you can replace it with green onions. Spring's late autumn sadness. Now the time is almost up. Let's open the lid and take a look. Wow, it smells so good. Look at this, it's so appetizing. I can't wait to eat it. Now sprinkle some cilantro and it's ready to eat. The chicken paired with the mushrooms is really fragrant. The steamed chicken is very tender. Paired with the mushrooms, there's a subtle natural fragrance. No need for frying or deep frying. The method is very simple. It's very suitable for the elderly and children. The steamed chicken is tender in texture. It's also flavorful and soft. It easily falls off the bone. The mushrooms are cooked well too. The broth is flavorful and fragrant. Very nutritious. If you like it, save the recipe and give it a try.
I share different dishes every day. Remember to follow me. I meet this mom. See you in the next video.